Yo, sup? Real quick, I know everyone's doing leagues right now. I hope you guys are having a great time. I just want to give you guys a little bit of appreciation and an apology for how long this video has taken. I went on a little vacation, and I've been busting my ass to get this video out to you guys as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for all the support that you've given me thus far, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Sup? I'm Asa, and this is my Melee Only Hardcore Iron Man. Holy Warrior 09. After years of playing RuneScape normally, I've decided to head into the Iron Man realm with zero prior knowledge, except we're doing it different. No range, no magic, melee only. All coming together to take on every raid in RuneScape. Last time, we buckled up on a journey to get the White Halibut. What? Where'd he go? Also, shout out to all the people that were telling me I was saying it wrong. I know I say it wrong. That's how I've said it since I was a kid. Look, you guys already took our doin from me. You're not taking this from me. After some pivotal quests and mini games, we were able to begin the Black Knight Slaughter and eventually obtain the White Halibur. But after all this, I really need to buckle down and get some much needed gear upgrades. These graceful boots really ain't hitting like that. The main ones we need to look at is just overall melee bonuses and things that will help me hit bigger number. After selling all the garbage I got from the Black Knight, I started another questing spree. Some of the more important quests I need to get done is Death Plateau and the RFD subquests and the requirements for my newest best in slot, Black Gloves. Now you may think, that isn't your best in slot, what the, ugh, you're wrong. There's no possible or current way to get anything better. Barrow's Gloves? <laughs> got your ass, check this out. These are the current RFD subquest holders. I can do these ones, and these ones I can't. And I'll tell you why. This is Scratch. His subquest requires the completion of Big Chompy Bird Hunt. That requires 30 range. And you know, I'm no ranging coward. Pack it up. This is Ceramic Vars. Even though I've carried out a war crime for him and murdering over 1,300 of his sworn enemies, I can't do Underground Pass. And if you've been watching my videos, that's a huge requirement for a lot of content in RuneScape. So, he won't let me do the quest. It's his fault. And maybe I also can't do Hero's Quest or even think about starting Legends, so... Cooked. This is the fucking monkey. His requirements are Monkey Madness 1. Ha! <laughs> I can't do that quest because the Grand Tree gives 2.1k magic experience upon completion. Destroy. And finally, this is the Lumberge Guide. He has a bunch of quests I can do, except Big Chompy Bird Hunting. And we already went over that, so... Smoked! You might be thinking, what about a combat bracelet? Or a regen? Yeah? And how am I supposed to enchant that, hmm? You think I just walk around and enchant things? Use high alchemy? Using runes, huh? You think I'm, you think I'm some sort of wizard? Huh? All right, so. Coming up, I think we're gonna do Death Plateau. Now, I need 15 trout and bread. Bread we can make easily, but trout is going to be another thing. So, the easiest way I can think of doing that is just getting my fishing up just a hair. Shouldn't take too long. Let's go ahead and I will see you guys when I have 15 fish, 18 fishing. Wonderful. And there it is, Mountain Dwarf, 1k cooking XP, 1k Slayer EXP, but better yet, an upgrade to the gloves in RFD, 20 cooking, 23 Slayer. Now, we have beautiful iron gloves. Yeah, as you can see, a minor upgrade to all the things, a plus one to everything that was plus two before. Elemental Workshop, Elemental Workshop, in the zone. There we go, Elemental Workshop 1 finish that is a great amount of exp for crafting especially 27 oh we can make emeralds there we go 20 fishing we gotta get some trout all right it's time for death plateau i need climbing boots you guys don't know what climbing boots are they're pretty much the best in slot boots for a long time yeah we need these these are important oh I missed the thing, but Death Plateau done. That means I get to go buy a bunch of climbing boots. Climbing boots, a plus two strength. That is so huge for the account. And we take those. And there we go. 25 fletching in the books, finally. And now it's time to go get 40 wood cutting. There we go, 40 wood cutting in the books, finally. I mean, it only took it like an hour. Now we just gotta get 40 crafting. Well, I need to get 42. So, might as well get that started right now. I know what I have to do is click silver, but I don't know how much silver I need to get. 
Probably should do some calculations, yeah? 698, that's actually not fucking bad. Wait, I thought that was gonna be way worse. Okay, cool, I'm out nearly halfway there. I will say though, I don't know why people don't use the Dorgerskarn mine for silver. This shit is actually pretty easy. 28 crafting. So, during these clips, I didn't say anything. I think I was dead in a YouTube rabbit hole. So, I'm just gonna use it to ask you to subscribe and like the channel. Thanks. Uh, new video soon. Oh, another crafting level. That's what's cooking in Rune Tunes today. 42 crafting! We can go ahead and do all the subquests for RFD so we can get our black gloves. And there it is. 40 cooking in the books. Let's go get these RFD quests done! Now to finish up some of the RFD subquests, we got some other quests we gotta do. The only one with real combat I gotta prepare for is Shadow of the Storm. Just because I have to kill a level 100 wizard demon, Agrith Nar. Now, this could have been something really cool with the brand new white halibut. But unfortunately, the demon has a teleport mechanic that basically just scoops you in front of you if you're not in melee range of him. Oh, he could TP? Okay, never mind. So gotta flinch the fella after about a minute and a half of flinching he's dead and we can go finish up evil dave's portion of rfd i can't put it in prayer hp it is one quest point 10,000 hp xp and dark light dark light is a huge pickup especially later that is 49 hp in the books okay all of these guys have yellow making me lose my fucking mind the amount of orange spice you're getting is f making me I'm so pissed, man. <laughs> Just get one of them with the brown spice. Thank you. Thank you. That's totally evil. Not a hard subquest, just annoying. Priest Colomancer's chest access. Wonderful. We have steel gloves now. Does that matter? No, we have to do Pirate Pete now. Pirate Pete, it was the reason why I had to get 42 crafting so I can make a fish bowl. No. Oh. Cool, fresh clab crawl. Cool, we got it within three drops. We got all the collection logs shit. All right, first try. Oh, first try every time, baby. It is that easy. Freed Private Pete. 42 cooking. More importantly, my friends, we have now gained access to our best in slot gloves. Plus five and basically everything. Uh, our best in slot gloves. Life is good. The next quest is Fremnic Trial. It's the reason why I had to get 25 fletching and 40 woodcutting before. This quest is pretty pivotal to a lot of account builds in RuneScape, and for one reason. After the completion of this quest, you unlock the ability to equip Fremnic Helmets. Now, we don't talk about these two blasphemous helmets. We're gonna talk about these two. The Warrior Helm and the Berserker Helm. Now, the Warrior Helm is basically just attack bonus. Though good in theory, it doesn't really help us hit bigger numbers. The Berserker Helm, on the other hand, that's the big boy. Providing a massive plus three in strength, it's really gonna be a huge benefactor in the next step of the account. Luckily, this quest isn't too hard. It's a little scary, but I'll explain it when we get there. Where the fuck can I get a raw shark? You know, this is the first time I've ever made a fucking liar, ever. Got my fucking recommendation, and I didn't have to kill Lansing over and over and over again for it. The only recommendation you need is the one from a holy brother. I tell you what though, I hated it. I've always hated this quest. It's never been fun to do. Ow! You idiot! This attack speed, yeah, but uh, I'm also completely safe. I'm gonna go use the bathroom. Huh? I'll be right back. Oh, what I miss? This is the more annoying part where you have to literally walk around and talk to a bunch of different people. Oh, you could change your shoes here. When was that a thing? Since release in 04, I didn't even know that. You're learning something new every day. So I didn't really explain this quest and what's going on because honestly, a lot of it's kind of meh, but I'll give you a quick TLDR on it. You want to become a Fremenic. Turns out you can't be a Fremenic until you get approved by seven out of the 12 Council of Elders. You get approval by proving yourself by completing tasks for the council members. All of the tasks they assign to you is pretty easy and not so scary, except for one. Thorvald the Warrior. His task for you is to fist fight his special warrior called Koshe the Deathless. 
You have to fight him three times with no armor or weapons, and he gets stronger every time he's defeated. His first two forms mm, aren't so bad. The third form is pretty scary. He has pretty high DPS considering I don't have high defense and I'm naked out here. I can't use a weapon so the halibird's out of the question. And I'm not super skilled with prey flicking so I gotta flinch him. I'm not trying to lose the hardcore status this early. After you beat his third form, he becomes a monster and starts his fourth form. Thankfully, you don't have to defeat his fourth form. And dying to him is a safe death. It's it's part of the quest, man. I, I don't know. Nothing except for food, poison, potions, and rings of recoil. Alright, here we go. Uh. Uh. No, it looks like these pillars are just... He's not walking over. There we go. Idiot. Theoretically, I don't need to do it on this phase, I don't think. He's hitting too much. <laughs> He's hitting too much. Back, get back to being flinched, idiot. Yep, the fight starts now, huh? No, 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 no. Bad. Bad, Kochki. What a play by me. Truly. This is why I don't play flick. I don't like it. You gotta be fucking kidding me. The motherfucker despawn! Very cool, thanks, Jagex. Yeah, so, I have a plan. So, the bitch despawned. To potentially avoid doing that over and over again and wasting supplies until RNG was on my side, I had a backup plan. Lost City. A very essential quest for Holy Warrior. Currently, it bars the Dragon Longsword, which is going to be absolutely huge for the next mission on this account. But right now, this motherfucker just despawned on me. It's personal. I need a Draman branch so I can smuggle a Draman staff and use the only thing a wizard weapon is good for, blunt force trauma. The only way to get a Draman branch is from the Draman tree located in the Entrana dungeon. I need an axe to cut it down. You can't enter Entrana without any sort of weapons. So we go into the dungeon, smack a zombie till it gives me a bronze axe, cut the tree, flinch the spirit, cut the tree for more backup, finish Lost City, and head back to Relica ring this motherfucker's bell this time all right i'm not trying to deal with it not nah not like before all right things are different what kind of person calls himself holy warrior old nine what the hell you bastard nice try say hello to my little friend a blunt object bitch what an improvement how much stats does this get ain't shit but you get a plus 10 crush 10 melee strength bonk are you gonna go full kill or disappoint the holy warrior 09 name well i gotta go for the full kill now don't i this man insulted you you have to do it now it's true but the fight now starts Ugh. smuggler yes sir Ugh. 255 defense? Son. What? Yeah, no, fuck this. You got it, bruh. Holy warrior, get up. Do not bow. You don't bow to anybody. With that, the Fremnik Trials is complete. That's a lot of EXP. 48 defense. 41 fishing. 28 thieving. You now steal from chest upstairs in Ardoin. In a relica and on the Isle of Souls. Wow. 43 crafting. I can now cut diamond. 78k. Ooh, I do not have that much. I'm gonna have to go to the agility pyramid. Let's sell this, get our 100k. Let's go ahead and get our Zerker helm. Come over here. 78k. No problem. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we've got our gear set up. Majority of which can be replaced with some minor things here and there. I know I can get a strength amulet, but to this point, this is what I've been working for. Black gloves, Zerker helmet, climbing boots, and the white halibut. Right now, it's time to go back to our roots. It's time to click monster, monster die.